your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live, and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, giving me thumbs up, thumbs down. Just thank you for showing my channel so much love and so much support. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank y'all so very much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for just showing my channel so much love, support. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. To the ones that have not subscribed, come on, subscribe to the channel, y'all. And everybody, just comment, 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 comment. Okay, y'all, I want to do a My Thoughts video today. And I'm going to give y'all my thoughts on um passing unwanted judgment. And this topic came from something that happened to one of my moderators, uh, Blair on an on an Instagram live. Okay, a lot of you may not know what Blair looks like, but she is a beautiful black woman who happens to be light skinned Okay, and when you see her, you automatically think, "Ooh, she's white," but she's not, y'all. She's black, and she was disrespected on this particular live i'm not gonna say who live it was but she was disrespected um we was talking about i forgot what the the, the subject was the com but i know in the comments you know she was talking about how we as black women we go through a lot in this day and the other and the things that we go through as black women and so some black woman assumed just by the way Blair looks that Blair was white. She proceeded to tell Blair that you as a white woman, I'm paraphrasing, you as a white woman don't know nothing about black women issues. Okay. I hate that. I hate that with a passion. You cannot you cannot judge somebody based off the way that they look okay and this black woman judged another black woman based off of the way that she looks i was so confused i did not know what was going on in the comments i had to contact blair and we had to have this conversation because i was so confused i didn't know what was going on i did not know what was happening okay but you cannot judge nobody off of the way that they look you cannot assume that somebody is white just by the way that they look or you cannot assume that somebody is just pure black just by the way that they look you cannot judge somebody's ethnicity or their race based off of the way that they look you cannot do that is disrespectful it's hurtful and you just should not do it don't judge a book by its cover before you read that book okay because you don't know what somebody has gone through their whole entire life and you just add on to the trauma that somebody has gone through with the color or the shade of, or the tone of their skin. You cannot judge people like that. You cannot treat people like that. You need to be careful when you are judging people. You, 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 you just need to get to know somebody before you judge them off of the first appearance. Oh, like I said, Blair is a beautiful black woman. She's just light-skinned. People think she's white. She's not white. She's a black woman. A beautiful black woman. A woman that deserves the utmost respect. Okay? And, it's, and I know it's hurtful for a light-skinned black woman to deal with hate. Just like it's, a, it's, it's hurtful and it's hard for a dark-skinned sister to deal with disrespect and hate. 
and it's not cool. This is what you call colorism, people. And it exists because of slavery days. We all know about the white, I mean, the light skin was in the house. The dark skin was in the fields. That's where colorism came from. That's why we were so separated. That's why a lot of us that are not light, that can pass for white, a lot of us, we get disrespected. We all get disrespected because of the shade, the tone, the color of our skin within our own race. And it should not go down like that. It should not happen like that. But it does, and it comes from slavery. And we have to stop that. We have to stop colorism. I don't know how we can, but we need to figure that out. Because it's not cool. It's not right. It's damaging to somebody's life, their livelihood, somebody's mental state, emotional state. You, you, you develop mental issues sometimes. And I am so sorry that this has happened to Blair in her life. I'm sorry that it happened in this live last week. Because it shouldn't have never happened. Should nobody be mistreated? Should nobody be disrespected? Because of the color, the shade, the tone of their skin. We should not, as black people, be doing that to each other. We just should not be doing that. We should be loving on each other, taking care of each other, helping each other, giving each other advice, putting each other coattail when we do wrong within our own community. That's what we should be doing, but we are not, and it's shameful. It's disrespectful. It's, 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 it's just hurtful. And I just don't get it. I don't understand why we want to mistreat one another. It makes no sense to me to continue to do this. I just, I, I, I don't understand it. But I need for y'all to comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've ever experienced any form of colorism just let's explain that let's let's just have this discussion because this is a real thing let's talk about having somebody pass unwanted judgment upon you in the meantime and in between time make sure you give me those big thumbs up make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell twice to be notified if you're an old subscriber make sure your notifications are on share my videos like I always say, God only gives you one life, y'all. Please live it. Bye, y'all.